Die. This thing it takes three hyper voices now because of the Glalie stats. Yeah, we have Glaceon at home. Level 31! Finally! Let's go! Honestly, this level up trick is going so well, I think we should get the Luffan to level 30 first. You became a pussy! Let's go! How much experience do you give now? You're giving like a thousand even. Okay, like an extra 300, extra 500 there. Perfect. Let's do one more. We should get the Swablu to 32. That'll save us a rare candy and we'll get the Luxray Evolution. Annihilate is pretty cool. From what I've seen. I actually saw a good bit of Annihilate because Shroom had it in one of his uh, league teams. And he used it a lot. It's neat. Bum, 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 bum. Anyways. The main thing about Gen 5 having a couple of bad designs, which literally every Gen has some bad designs. Agility would be really funny on Lotvar, but uh, Calm Mind is better, I think. But uh, the main thing about it is that um, it has so many more amazing designs than it does lame ones. Like the Monkey Trio, Vanillix's Evolution line, Garbodor if you really want to be like, oh, it's trash. Sure, but then you have Haxorus, Hydreigon, uh, Braviary, Mandibuzz, Bisharp, Volcarona. It, it doesn't stop. So many incredible designs. All right, this should get us this Evo we want. Galvantula, Ferrothorn. Excadrill is pretty sick. Zorork. There is Darmanitan. There are so many. Like, if if I had to take a bet on what gin do you think has the like the biggest concentration of best designs, I I would take that bet on Gen Five. Gen Five was insane. Oh my goodness, magnitude. It's something. It's something. It's better than Mud Slap. Chandelure is another one. Like, dude, it just doesn't stop. It just doesn't stop. It's so incredible. All right. Oh, baby. Please be a unique sprite. Don't, don't be... I don't think it's gonna be. It looks like it's unique. Yes! That's what I'm talking about, baby! Let's go! Oh, that is incredible. Luxfin. Let's go. The armor eyes Pokemon. It can easily haul a dump truck. Furious hack. Dude. How could you forget Zekrom? I didn't forget Zekrom. I was specifically not naming legendary Pokemon. But if you want to talk about legendary Pokemon, the Swords of Justice and the Genies are pretty sick. They're not my favorite trios, but they're pretty cool. And then Zekrom, Kyurem, Reshiram, and their fusions are phenomenal. Incredible stuff. 83 attack. You have 69 Spatak, which is funny to me. You do have a Spatak up nature, unfortunately. Oh, man. Let's go. Finally. Finally, a good setup. He still needs some better moves, but still. All right, you know, we're not we're not just getting that. We're also getting this. Are you even gonna have a unique sprite? Oh wait, I thought that Altaria was thirty three. Is Altaria thirty five? Chat. It must be thirty five. Why did I think it was thirty three? Was I thinking of Magneton? I think I was thinking of Magneton, and you're gonna be like, why on earth would you confuse Swablu and Magneton? And I'm gonna explain to you exactly why. It's really weird. The reason why is because in Gen 3, when you go to fight Winona, and I had trouble beating her when I was younger, because I always, back when I was younger, I played the game like an idiot. When I played Fire Red, I chose, Char I chose Charmander, and I only used Charmander. I used one Pokemon. I did the same thing with Trico in Gen 3. So I would always lose to Winona. So I would go get a Magnemite from the Under Mawville place, evolve it into Magneton, use Magneton to beat that gym, and then and then put it in the PC and only use Sceptile for the rest of the way. Until I caught Groudon or Rayquaza, depending on what version of the game I was playing. 
All right, someone in chat said that it would also evolve into a... Uh... Oh yeah, both halves are ready to evolve. Um, I hope I can do both, evolve head. Whichever one head is. Oh no. Is this cursed? I think I evolved the Swablu half first. I sure did. And it is not a unique sprite. It is terrible. All right, please also evolve into the other one. Fish humming Pokemon. Dragon Breath is great. Don't mind if I do. We do have to level it up again. That sucks. Well, we do what we must. That's really lame that you are. I mean, I guess it's probably a programming thing that they can't really help. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, though. It's doing the cool S. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. All tactic. That's pretty sick. It's not like the coolest sprite we've seen, but it's a pretty good one. I'm down with it. <laughs> what? Okay, they hid the better sprites! What the heck? Why didn't you tell me they were- th Don't get me wrong, this one is also good, but these are like, this is where it's at. It's gotta be this one. It's gotta be this one. Holy cow, tinder humming. Dragon water, let's go. Yeah, water pulse is good. All right, it's still showing this sprite, but I'm pretty sure it'll be the sprite we chose here in a second. Let me make sure. Oh, dude, that is so awesome. Take. Oh, that's incredible. Dragon water. Look at how well-rounded these stats are. Your spatak is a little low, unfortunately, but your spadef is really good, which is nice on dragon water. What is dragon water even weak to? Are you only weak to dragon and fairy, I think? Which is pretty good. All right, that is fantastic. Good stuff. And we have Lux fans, so now we just need to get Gyarasis and Wardle to evolve. Do 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 do. All right. Let's mix up the team a little bit. I really want the stupid egg to hatch. Let's mix up the team a bit now that we've gotten some Evos. Do, 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 do. I hate to put you away right after getting you, but we are gonna bench you for a minute. We got Houndor and Vulpix. Does this work? It is gra- yeah, they've got both sides. We're doing grass fire. Grass fire, ha like, Venadoom or whatever. Yeah, I'm I'm down with that. Let's do it. I love that hound door sprite. This is fine. This is kind of what you would expect from this fusion. It's Bulbasaur's coloring and face on hound door's body, which is fine. It, it's really, it's what the Houndoom Venusaur fusion looks like that decides if we stick with this or not. Um, you have speed down either way. I'm actually going to take defense up because you're going to be a special attacker almost assuredly. And then early bird. Dun, 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 dun. Grass fire is a fun typing. Have they made a grass fire type yet, chat? Is there a grass fire type in Gen 8 or 9? Because I'm pretty sure we still didn't have one up through Gen 7. We had only just gotten Volcanion for water fire. Hear me out. What about this? <laughs> it would be flying fire instead of dragon fire, though. I really wanted dragon fire. I don't think we're going to have any other flying fire types, though. I, I want to know what it looks like. I want to know what this one looks like. Go villain. There are two in Gen 9. Ogre Pond. I think I've seen the Ogre Pond thing. Dude, that looks really cool. That looks really cool. I, I really wanted it to say uh, dragon, but I gotta see what the uh, what the evolved one looks like, I think. 
Fox Wave Pokemon. Ooh, and we have Speed plus Attack. That's incredible. I actually... Flash Fire when you're not a Fire type is really interesting. I think I like that more than Infiltrator. Those are both good moves, though. Dun, 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 dun. Absorb? I think we're good without Absorb. Gust! Do do. It is fire type. Why did I say I wasn't fire type? I was just thinking of Noivern. Ignore me. That was stupid. I shouldn't have said that. I wasn't thinking. I still wanted flash fire either way. Who am I fusing you with? Because I think I've soured on fusing you with Lycanroc. <laughs> that looks pretty sick. Water ghost could be fun. Not with you. Tranitar Sharpedo, though? No. Nope. Water Dragon. Again. I would have preferred Water Dark. And then this is Water Rock. Yeah. I wish it was Rock Dark, honestly. Water Rock is fine. Alright. I'm sick of having all these water types in my team. You, come here. Fire Steel. I want to get to work on you soon. Did I take the experience share off of whatchamacallit? I think I did. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Chardon, I want to start leveling up. I'm going to, I'm not going to put the experience share on him right now because I want to get Gyarasis. You're going to keep your Pokemon fused through the playthrough or fuse them with other Mons? I'm like... Once I find one I like, it's staying fused. Like, um, Lopvor? Never changing. Luxfan? Never changing. They're never getting unfused. They're in their final forms, and they look incredible. Like, I, I would never want a different Pokemon. Like, a different fusion option. I want those. Alright, still can't get into Saffron. Hey, it's 100k if you want to go through here. Oh, we have a good amount of money right now, which is nice. We do need to go back to Diglett Cave sometime and catch some, uh, whatchamacallit. Let's get to Celadon and then we might fly back to some other cities for a little bit. I think evolving Wardle soon would be great. Wardle is next on the list after Gyarasis gets to Duosion. But I want to get Gyarasis to evolve first. Can I use your Pokemon as a model for my painting? Yes. You have a bike? How very astute of you. You are correct. Yo, Vibraba Benary is pretty cool. Um, please be ground normal, even though I think you're dragon normal. Gamer moment, get played. Do 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 do. <laughs> That's a funny one. I should not be staying in. You might have like Leaf Blade or some nonsense. Ah, live life on the edge. Ow. Are you going to do the post game or just the main game? We will most likely do whatever post game there is. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's pretty good. Dude, Spiritomb has got to have some cracked fusions. Anyways, we are working on Wardle because every time Gyarasis dies, I then go to Wardle. Please be ghost normal. Of course you crit. Crit and Omni Boost? I hate Pokemon. I hate Pokemon. Watch it Omni Boost again. Hey, Draining Kiss this for me. Oh wait, it's Ghost. It's it's Ghost Normal. Ghost Normal. Still Draining Kiss. This thing is gonna be annoying because it's Omni Boosted. Can you revive him? Why would I waste a revive if I even have any right now? What shiny is your favorite? Shiny Rayquaza. I would love to paint a grass and fairy type Pokemon. Would you please trade me a grass and fairy type for my gold C? Is this Goldeen and Chansey? Goldeen and Chansey. They made this spot bigger. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat, but in Kanto, when you go through the underground thing between Celadon and Saffron, 
Isn't it literally like one trainer and then Celadon City instead of an actual route? Like it's just like a, it fits on the Game Boy screen and you just walk to the left. Ghost Normal is a really cool type combo. It reminds me of Delta Ambipom from Insurgents and I loved using that thing. Delta Ambipom and Insurgents was one of the main reasons I ran a team of 12 instead of six in that, in that fan game. I think there isn't even a trainer usually. Oh, there's not even a trainer, dang. We should be able to, depending on what they've done or how they've changed it, we should be able to get an Eevee here. This is my trusted pal, Politoed. It evolved from Poliwhirl when it reached level 37. Ribbit, doesn't it normally need like King's Rock? What are you looking at? I'm waiting for some people, stop bothering me. Prize exchange. Ooh, what, what prize exchanges do we have? Welcome to Game Corner, you can exchange coins. <laughs> Whoa, baby, it's all of the best ice electric fire moves. Still no good ground moves, but oh, baby. Still think my favorite deltas were Snorlax and Gardevoir? Gardevoir was one of the best deltas. Snorlax was also really good. Dun, 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 uh. Abra, Clefairy, Pinsir, Scyther, Dratini, Porygon. Scyther, we, we have to get Scyther. We have to get Scyther. We gotta do Scyther. Porygon also a little tempting. We've already caught a Dratini and we know where to catch Dratini, so we don't need to get Dratini. I like how they have a lot of Team Rocket guys hanging out. I put so much money into the slots that at this point it'd feel like a waste if I stopped now. Genius. Welcome to Game Corner. You can exchange coins for prizes next door. Welcome to Game Corner. You need some coins. You don't seem to have a coin case, alas. Looks like luck is on my side today. I feel like it's easier to win at some machines than others. That might just be me. You gotta spend money to make money. That's what they say. Gambling is fun, but it's also addictive. I'm sorry, you're gonna need a coin case if you wanna play Voltorb Flip. Oh, they have Voltorb Flip in the game. There's actually, uh, Voltorb Flip is also in Insurgents, I think. And there's a website that you can use Voltorb Flip to like, you can cheat the system. Don't touch the poster over there. There's no secret switch behind it. All right, I can follow the rules. Did you see that weird floating feather in Lavender Town we went looking for at Mount Fuji? For that Mount Fuji? I think no one else could see it. Yeah, I saw it too. I could hear it whisper when I went near it. Gives me the chills thinking about it. Really? Could you make out what it said? Something about being only visible to those who are unkind and lunar feathers. What a bunch of nonsense. Best not to think about it. Lunar feathers? Is that a Lunala thing? The sewers have dried up lately. I wonder what's up with that. Oh, is there like a sewer area we can go into? Celadon sewers? I don't know what that invention is, but it must be really powerful if the boss is so fixated on it. Apparently, the inventor is just some old sap that runs a Pokemon orphanage of all things. Who would have thought? Who are you? Go away. All right, we need to get Team Rocket to go away, and then maybe we can go into the sewers, which sounds sick. Here's Erica's gym. No telling what type she's got. Oh, Lunar Feathers is Cresselia. Right, right, right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's the special event thing in, uh, in Gen 4. Hello. All right, we've completed all 14 current, current quests, words. We need six more to get a new reward and I really want a new reward. I'm conducting a study on the Pokemon Eevee. Could you show me the Pokemon that Eevee evolves into when exposed to one of these two stones? A Moonstone must be Espeon. And Sunstone must be Umbreon. Sun or Moon, we're doing Moon for Espeon. Show Pokemon Eevee evolves when exposed to a Moon or Sunstone to help the scientists. All right. So I, it wants Espeon or Umbreon, and maybe a little known fact, if you haven't watched a lot of my Pokemon stuff before, I don't like Umbreon. Umbreon is my least favorite evolution, so we will be getting Espeon. I think it's the other way, Sun is Espeon, is it? Have I flipped them in my head? I guess it would be, wouldn't it? Yeah. For some reason, I associate Moonstone with Espeon, but Espeon is the one during the day, so it would be the Sunstone. You're right. You're right. I had that backwards. Thank you, chat. Hello there. I'm looking to make an omelet. Won't you find me an egg that I can make it happen? Any egg will do. Thanks. I can hardly wait. A lady wants you to give her an egg to make an omelet. Find me a Pokemon egg so I can make an omelet. Chat, it's time for the Azuril egg. There's an old legend that says that the bell in Lavender Town reveals its secret once it... If it... If one rings it at night when the time is right. It is only a legend, however. No one knows if it's true. I'm not entirely sure what it means, but I'm sure someone could decipher this enigma. Apparently, there's a big prize awaiting those who figure it out. For whom the bell tolls. Ring Lavender Town's bell when the time is right to reveal its secret. What time? I mean, like, at night, obviously, but what time at night? 